finally, you nor do I have to go find some glass or something to put in front of our lens to make a cool effect. Yo, what up? Welcome back, man. Um, today we're talking about some tools that you can put in front of your lens to give you some in-camera effects for music videos, for your films, and even for photography. Before we go any further, I wanna thank Cinepax for sponsoring this video. This video is sponsored by Cinepax and for sending over some of their filters, their tools to uh, create better effects uh, for my projects. Thank you, Cinepax. Let's talk about what they sent. So they sent two crystal filters. One is a split crystal filter and one is a full crystal filter. These are basically just pieces of glass shaped into a crystal form to put in front of your lens to make some sick effects. The other three tools are split diopters. Now what these are is just uh, different pieces of glasses at different sizes. Um, they have three different intensities, a one, a two, and a three. One being the least amount of effect and three being a very intense amount of effect. They're a really good size and very convenient just to have with you on set shooting a video or if you're just out and about taking photos or making a film for your YouTube or anything. The packaging for these filters is just phenomenal. So they're inside of a case and you pull them out of the case. Very well built. The logos on it looks really nice. So once you open that pouch up, you got your filter inside and you have a little cloth where you can clean off your filter when it gets smudges or whatever. It gets dirty. Just convenient. It's nothing like good packaging. I, I personally just love good packaging. So let's talk about the build of these filters. They're really well built. They're just a nice clean cut piece of glass and they have a little handle. The handle is so convenient. Back in the day when we'd shoot music videos and we want to get like a ghosting effect or some type of uh, foreground effect going on, we would just use glasses like wine glasses or uh, whiskey glasses or just a, any old glass that you could find in a cabinet or in a hotel room or anything. We'd go find one and try to put it in front of the lens to make an effect and it would just be kind of inconvenient. You're just holding this big bulky thing. Now Cinepax has provided these new filters with these handles on the side where you can put your finger through, cuff it, and just have a much better grip on it when you're trying to maneuver that piece of glass or that filter in front of your lens to get those effects. It's just very, very convenient, very well thought out. Not only does it have a nice black convenient grip on the end of the glass, but it also has a quarter 20 thread in it where you can mount this filter with a magic arm. Now they provide a magic arm at Cinepax and it's really nice because it has a little red wheel that you can spin that just makes it super convenient mounting these uh, filters onto the magic arm. But you can use any magic arm, any magic arm off Amazon or anywhere, you can use any type of magic arm to mount the filter on and then hook it to the bottom of your camera or hook it to a cage on your camera or anything. Very well thought out again. Overall, the build to me is really nice. It's just nice being able to have a nice, convenient, small size glass with a grip on it and the convenience of being able to mount it anywhere you want and keep it sitting still right in front of your lens is just convenient. Now, some of you may be wondering like, what do you, what is the point of having this glass and putting it in front of your lens? Well, let me show you. You can make in-camera effects for music videos, film, photo, anything. It just adds a cool foreground look to your images. If you're using the crystal, it gives you like a kind of a kaleidoscope look and it kind of just puts in flares and splits up the image a little bit, makes it look really cool. If you're using the split diopters, one of my favorites, something that I've always loved for music videos, it creates like a ghosting effect. So basically what it does is it goes over top of your subject across the lens and it just kind of gives it more of a glowy magnified look. It just creates a cool unique effect in camera so you don't even have to worry about trying to do effects in post which is just convenient and for the price point, the quality, like <laughs> I'm glad that I finally have this. Then on the flip side, on photos, if you're just trying to create a unique looking photo, have something in the foreground, make it look a little bit better than just a plain old shot. All you gotta do is throw this filter right in front of it or just mount it with the magic arm and just take the picture and boom, you got you a unique looking photo as opposed to just shooting it straight flat on. In the barbershop right now, testing out this uh, three split diopter. Looks good. It's really dope. Still, yeah. Hard. Like that one. So recently I used the split diopter and the crystal filter as well on a music video set, getting some cool shots of this in-studio music video. You can see that we created some cool kaleidoscope effects with the crystal filter. And then here with the split diopter, we also made some cool ghosting effects for this really cool lighting setup. And it just looks dope. And it wouldn't have been that without these filters. We couldn't have achieved that look without the filters, even trying to do it in post. 
it would not have came out this clean. I've also been playing around with it on photos of me when I take photos of myself in studio or wherever, I'll just throw that filter in front of it or try to mount it. And it just makes the pictures look a little bit better. It's always dope shooting through something or having something in the foreground to create that depth looks really dope. My experience using these has just been great. They're small, convenient. I keep them on me. I keep them in my bag. Sometimes I'll have them in my pocket. If I'm shooting some, I could just pull it out and see if it looks good. If it doesn't, okay, no worries. But typically having something in the foreground and that ghost in effect or that crystal uh, kaleidoscope looking effect just makes it look good. It makes anything look great. I'm hyped that Cinepax provided them for me. I'm hyped that they even made them because for a long time, me and all my homies, we would just take wine glasses or some type of glass or some type of fish fixture and try to put it in front of the lens to get that effect and it would never look like this. So that's basically it. If you want to create some in-camera effects that look really cool, ghosting effects, kaleidoscope effects, and not have to do that much work in post, then I recommend clicking the link down below, going checking out Cinepax and all they have to offer. They have a bunch of filters. They even have some new filters coming out. If you go follow them on Instagram and check out what they have on their Instagram, they got some cool new stuff coming up. I'm even excited to check those out myself. I can't wait till they send mine. But if you like this video and it helped you in any time, type of way, make sure you slap that like button for me. It helps my channel grow. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I make valuable and entertaining content just like this all the time. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when the new videos here on this channel drop. And I'm gonna peep you on the next video. Peace.